Okay, so my brother has invited me to join him on a competent crew sailing uh, week down in Wales, uh, where I believe we'll get the chance to sail around the Isle of Anglesey, which would be very exciting. I uh, have accepted this offer and in a few weeks time I'll be going uh, with a group of uh, five of us to do this sailing week. Uh, we'll be with an instructor and we'll be on a yacht and it'll be a new experience uh, going away and doing that sort of thing but I'm very excited and looking forward to it. Okay so it's uh, a week to go now and I think that to help me get in the right mindset to do uh, this sailing week I need to um, maybe try and get in what practice I can and uh, do what I can to get ready for the real experience. So I think uh, first of all I need to get myself uh, looking the part. Okay, so I'm all uh, kitted out uh, to be the captain of the vessel. I feel that's um, the correct part of the ship for me to work on. So now it's time to go and get in some practice. Bearing in mind I live pretty much in the centre of the country, so I need to find easy access to an ocean. I know. So what if I uh, use the computer for a few minutes? This is really easy. Oops. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh dear, I started a, I started a fight. Okay, good morning. This is David's log on the 9th of October 2017. We spent the last night on the boat in the darkness and this morning we found we're on this. A Hans 385 sailing yacht. So here's a quick tour of the vessel. So we have the helms, a computer, some ropes that I don't know what to do with yet, and we have the interior section. Here we have trainee day skipper James and incompetent crew member Jason. <laughs> the kitchen. We've been here less than a day, it's already messy. <laughs> One bedroom, two bedroom, our toilet and shower that we're probably not going to use. The toilet we will. Maybe. <laughs> not in choppy waters though. Have we pointed out we have to pump the toilet ourselves? <laughs> I was going to brush over that one. <laughs> the radio system for use in emergency, don't know how to use that yet. These, a clock and a something, <laughs> and then the master bedroom, which me and my brother are sharing. So it's quite a nice interior, all in all, but quite cosy, a bit like a caravan. <laughs> and so, up on deck, we have the masts. I know very little about this boat. I couldn't. I couldn't. By the end, the will be more, in, more informed. Yes, <laughs> a bag of something. I know what that is later. So there we go. Not a bad vessel. End of vlog.
Tuesday 10th of October, Dave's log number 2. Uh, so last night we uh, moored up against the Prince Maddock ship, uh, which was an interesting experience, but it meant that we had access to a pub last night, otherwise our alternative was to moor to a buoy and just spend the night floating at sea. Uh, and last night was interesting. With I assume was only the worst storm to hit Wales in the last 10 years as the boat rocked and everything was banging and shaking and there was a different noise and the main problem was um, that it didn't get into a rhythm, it was all just very random if there had been a nice rhythm to it I probably could have slept through it so I'm not sure how much sleep any of us got last night How did you sleep last night James? Fine There we go, okay uh, So there we go. I also discovered yesterday that uh, my cup of water that I put up there um, the night before I forgot to remove and while doing manoeuvres I found it down here and I just put it in my bed. There we go. Lesson learned. Okay, so I think today we're going to be heading up to Hollyhead potentially. Is that right Skipper? Yep. Cool. Uh, so let's see how it goes. I'm sure it'll be a good day. Hopefully we'll get to the open ocean as well. End of vlog. Okay, so it's at the end of uh, day two now, and uh, what an interesting day it was. We sailed from uh, the south of Anglesey up to Hollyhead uh, Harbour, which took most of the day. Uh, we got our first experience of um, open sea sailing, which involved a lot of tilting, a lot of being sprayed in the face by seawater, and everybody feeling seasick so it's been quite a challenging day um, but it's been good one of those days where uh, you have to remember that pain is only temporary um, but it's been good uh, so we had some challenges with uh, the crew feeling a bit seasick so we had to take shelter in a um, in a, a bay for half an hour just to chill out in the calm waters for a bit and then uh, our instructor treated us to the final hour just uh, him driving under motor power with the sails down so we could just sit and try and not be sick uh, while he brought us into our harbour for the evening um, so here's, it's been, a, it's been a, a good day, a good experience but also a bad experience but a good character building day there we go, end of vlog Okay, so this is the next log on Wednesday the 11th of October. Uh, so we spent the night in Hollyhead Marina, which was good, good facilities and under shelter. Uh, unfortunately, we've had a bit of a slow start today with a bit of a lion and uh, the weather, as you might be able to see, isn't good at all. <laughs> so, I think we'll be um, staying in the marina today doing some manoeuvres, which will be really good. Uh, and then hopefully you'll be able to head back um, down south uh, tomorrow when the weather improves. That's about it. Over and out. And so here we are, uh, going for 
little trip around the bay. The weather's cleared up and it's bright sunshine as you can see. So it's going to be doing some manoeuvres around the bay. Look at that. Weighed anchor. Uh, so yeah, so lovely uh, calm sailing conditions today. Uh, the wind's been tired a bit on our side, so uh, we're making good time. So it's uh, Friday the 13th of October, our final day. We've uh, travelled all of maybe a mile from our mooring point last night near the Prince Maddock, uh, all the way up to Port Dinorwick. Up to Port Dinorwick. Uh, so we're just waiting outside for the tide to go high enough and then we'll be able to go in and uh, stop there and unload and finish our voyage. So it's been really good, we've learned all about tacking and jibing and what the main sheet does and the jib and the winch and the keel. It's all very fascinating, I hope it all stays inside. Uh, but obviously we've got a lovely, lovely day to finish on. And so I'd like to thank James as well for organising the, the time and the rest of the crew who shall remain nameless. 